Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. Today, we're going to mentally stimulate you on members of the Republican Party and the Republican Party themselves. I mean, for instance, we start off and we get to meet Senator Josh Hawley. You know, one of the um, senators that voted to acquit Donald Trump of his insurrection charges, as well as help support the insurrection on January 6th. Classic left-wing hypocrisy. That is Josh Hawley, and he is to decency and honor what Florida is to evolution. He's a U.S. senator who thinks he can ride Trump into the White House. Before you laugh, remember this. Hawley also cheered on the rioters who threatened to kill Pelosi and hang Mike Pence. Two questions. How many times did he get his ass kicked in high school, and why isn't he in jail? Hawley's emerging as a leader in the GOP like a COVID variant creeping into your blood, an opportunistic pustule spreading sickness and death. You think I'm exaggerating? He and the GOP are protecting those who attacked our capital over those who died trying to protect our capital. Dragging the officer down the stairs. So let me address the Republican Party just for a moment. Some of you say it's not Trump's fault. Some of you say it's Antifa's fault. But to all of you who hid and cried like a 10-year-old's G.I. Joe, faux patriots with no discernible dick, live with this. You're all cowards. Goddamn right. Trump's Republican Party. And I'm sure, as you know, he actually wants to ride Donald Trump's skirt tails into the White House. Isn't that nice of him, right? Then we also know that there's Ted Cruz, or Ted Cancun Cruz, as we call him. He, he deserted his own people when they had a disaster strike that killed a lot of their citizens. And he's been misleading his citizens by thinking that we want to act, that the Democrats would take their guns away. Well... Democrats do not want to take their guns away. They just want to ban assault rifles and high-capacity magazines because what's, what, are you going to get an assault rifle and go deer hunting? I got a video right here of Ted Cruz. I think you might enjoy it. It shows still shots of his family enjoying their time in Cancun. So I'll be right back. I get it now. Ted and Heidi Cruz, they just wanted their kids to be safe and to have basic sanitary services like heat and running water. They left behind third world apocalyptic living conditions for a much safer place. Like a lot of families before them, they made the tough decision to cross the Mexican border to get to safety. And then we have a very rude Rush Limbaugh, Limbaugh sorry, insulting Michael J. Fox to his face for, I, I guess he had a a problem with, I forget what he has, it was cerebral palsy or something like that. And Rush Limbaugh was making fun of him. So I got back to the ear. Americans like me. In this commercial, he is exaggerating the effects of the disease. He is moving all around and shaking, and it's purely an act. This is the only time I have ever seen Michael J. Fox portray any of the symptoms of the disease he had. He can control himself enough to stay in the frame of the picture. And he can control himself enough to keep his eyes right on the lens, the teleprompter. But his head and shoulders are moving all over the place. So this is really shameless, folks. This is really shameless of Michael J. Fox. Either he didn't take his medication or he's acting. So as you can see, the Republican Party is the party of insurrectioners and terrorists. Do you believe that? They're terrorists. And... A minority of them tried to overthrow our government and nearly succeeded and was acquitted. Yeah, we were talking about Donald Trump, of course. We did have, we did, we, sorry, can't breathe. We don't have a democracy right now. We actually have an unstable legislative system. And the first coup against it failed, but nearly half the Senate decided that, that, that basically defended the coup. The, um, Prosecution of Trump and the coup attempt of, that he led it must now be facing a grand jury, special prosecutions, or a 9-11 commission style inquiry. And basically, Donald Trump must get, be indicted and convicted for what he did and serve prison, prison sentence. Because... If he doesn't and he tries again, or a smarter version of Donald Trump tries again, they will succeed in this coup and overthrow our government. One of Trump's train seals, Mitch McConnell, when asked if he would support Donald Trump in 2024, he not only said yes, and I quote, he said, absolutely. 
So Mitch McConnell has now folded and turned to the Trump side. <laughs> the Trump side that works. And now we have a to realize that no one in the Republican Party has any regret about what happened on January 6th. And more and more they have they don't have any hesitation of uh doing it all over again at their earliest convenience. So this is pretty simple. The Republican Party has already issued its declaration of war against American democracy. It's already moving fast to suppress minority and city voting rights in states that are controlled by the Republicans. And to finish this off with, I actually have a video of why Republicans are scum. So I'll be right back after that. Republican jackasses squealing about a non-existent security crisis from all the network pretend news hosts leaving their brains in bought and paid for neutral and promoting a presidential crisis that they hope will happen if only they can keep saying it is happening. From all of them, I have yet to hear one question answered. What is it that all of you want us to do with the child refugees fleeing murder in their homelands, fleeing to us and begging us for our help? What is it, Kevin McCarthy, that you want us to do with them? Put them in cages, as Trump did? What is it, disgraced ex-White House surgeon Ronnie Jackson, that you want us to do with them? Send them into storage in filthy conditions in Mexico, as Trump did? What is it that you, Ted Cancun Cruz, want us to do with them? Send them back to die in their native countries, as Trump did? The Republicans don't give a shit about these kids. Their solution is to hell with them. And... I appreciate you guys joining me on my channel. Like I said, this is the People's Mental Stimulus Update. I am Russ, your host, and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll broadcast again to you when I have more information for your ears to hear. Until then, you have a wonderful night. Bye. Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party, and there I get paid a fee. It's right and on.